I went to sleep with the intention of rearranging my living room so I was on full energy and ready to start the day I wanted to take this credenza here and switch it with that credenza that I recently got for my entryway but I did not want it there unfortunately things did not work out the way I wanted and stay tuned because we are going to do some massive rearranging as well which turned out way more beautiful than I had expected the weather is looking beautiful we're gonna head outside do a little bit of gardening I'm gonna be sharing these planters that I found at home since for a steal of the price and I also got the other two planters right there on the back side from Home Depot sometime at the end of fall last year but we're gonna start up right here in the living room as I start here my intention sometimes we start with a plan in our head not knowing what's gonna happen because God has a different plan for us so I'm glad though it worked out the way it did first of all if you are new to my channel welcome and all of you returning welcome back you know I have discussed switching this credenza with the one at the entryway so I thought you know what let me give it a shot and let me tell you the reason behind it the credenza it is a little bit darker uh, color like the paint is like this dark greenish because the wall not wallpaper like our wall here in the living room we have this wall stick and peels uh, like a deck tiles that we have not deck tiles like a brick tiles they're faux tiles that I did a makeover a couple of years ago everything is pretty dark the furniture is dark the rug on the living room is dark and this credenza is rug so I figured let me bring that credenza over here to the entryway because I did a makeover here to the entryway if you are new to my channel where I painted here all white and brighten up the space and my intention was to get a dark credenza for that space but I was not able to find a black or dark credenza and when I did it was out of stock and it, they told me basically it's not coming back in stock so when I found that wood toned credenza I love it so much but I figured let me bring it here to the living room maybe it'll brighten up the space and try it out <laughs> no it didn't work out because this credenza here it has little circle holes where you can feed the wires through for example like the tv wires our wi-fi box right here the wires and then we have like little cable box uh right here that where i'm cleaning we have another box there so it has the holes as you can see that hole right on top of there the shelf here that i'm wiping um so it has this holes where you can feed the wires and the wood credenza it does not have any holes that you can feed the wires through so the plan is is gonna stick where it is this credenza is gonna stay where it is and I'm glad I took everything out because inside was so so dusty I'm giving it a good wipe before I put everything back and it also gave me the opportunity honestly to reorganize and I actually got rid of a couple of things that were just sitting in there so it worked out great I'm also gonna reorganize and put everything back in the other credenza and I give it a good wipe on this side we keep all of our not gaming but like our board game and stuff like that things that we play with as a family during the weekend so I'm keeping it all here there were a couple of them that I got rid of because we're never gonna use it but while I was doing this I actually had a friend that stopped by without me expecting them to come so that took some time and I had to pause filming and then my older son was home also so we ended up switching everything and I ended up redecorating and cleaning this whole area behind camera and then I'm gonna show you guys the final look at this point my guest was gone I had another person that popped also that was giving me like a appraisal for uh, changing the carpets for the stairs so it was like three hours later believe it or not by the time I cleaned the living room and coming back here so now I'm going to go ahead and organize this area, just put everything back, give it a good wipe. I'm also going to put all the decors back. Sometimes when I'm putting things back, I find myself rearranging because I don't remember how the decors were placed, which is fine because it gives it a new look. And then we're going to move over to the dining area. I do have a couple of boxes that I also need to unpack and some Amazon package and Ikea. And the Ikea is actually the stuff that you guys have already seen in my previous video which was the closet makeover and i also wanted to say all of you beautiful people returning back thank you so much 
for being here and taking time out of your day. I truly appreciate every single one of you and all of your beautiful comments. I truly, truly appreciate it. I just want to say that. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy and glad to have you here. My name is Oris and I do all sorts of homemaking motivation from cleaning, decluttering, organizing, cooking, lots of DIY, which usually only happens during the warmer weather because in here in winter in Canada, it is pretty nasty. So I don't do much of DIY work, especially things that require that needs to be in the outside. And now that we are officially spring, spring, and I can officially say here in Canada, winter is gonzo. I cannot wait to start our backyard and bring you guys along. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's jump in. got this organizational bags they do have zippers they're small they're perfect and they are great quality and sturdy I need to use them to organize some stuff in our furnace room which is in the basement and speaking of the basement I cannot wait to bring you guys not the next video but a week from when you guys actually see this video on the Saturday I will show you guys the following video which actually ended up being one of my best cleaning motivation video we are getting it all done i'm bringing you guys in the basement as well which has been so so long and it needed a lot of tlc along with the laundry room we are getting it done so i hope to see you guys on that video and i also got this holy quran book that we ordered from amazon it was delivered on this day i'm so glad we are interested in just getting to know more of the history and getting more into depth so sean and i have been reading a lot about the history and all the prophets and the quran and this english version actually has a lot of recommendation has a great review as well so we picked it up and we've been reading it and boy the history is just so so beautiful and i will link it down below if you guys are interested but right after here we're gonna declutter everything and get into some cleaning and i can't wait to show you the reveal of the living room but you're gonna see a little sneak peek as i put the book here uh-huh you see that right hold on <laughs> To buy the uh, table cover here it's like a clear plastic cover that I usually just get it from the store uh, it's been like a month I haven't even covered the table yet I'm really enjoying it and I feel like I really don't need to cover it because my little one used to use around this area before and now that he's older he really doesn't use the dining table and when he would use it this table is very fragile any scratch gets visible so quick 
and it gets beaten up easily like you can just scratch it and it'll show up so because it's fragile i always like to cover it but i took the cover out i mean kids are grown so we'll see how long that's gonna last and how that works out but i went ahead and put my table runner that i got from home since i love it so much and i wanted to edit that brown vase but everything looks so dark because the two candle holders are dark metal so i went ahead and just switched the vase with this white vase here and i love how things look and now i'm going to share with you guys right after here a quick tour of the living room and y'all let me know what you think as well i bet you think that i should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't It's not that long Since I met you for the first time Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. How can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted and will you knock me down? I know I'm feeling something for you. I redecorated the shelf and kind of rearranged and added a few pieces like a little bit of summer refresh. I added a little bit of pink which has like a little bit tone of purple just to tie the rest of the purple throughout the house. And then the sectional when we bought it, we bought it like the right side sectional with the intention of facing the TV so that we can utilize it and that have a better position and better posture when watching TV. The other way, when I officially got this couch, the way I had it, we just never moved it. We never came around to it. And then we kept on procrastinating it. And finally, we have it the way we love it. Y'all let me know and let me continue this tour. everything down um, these ones can just stay here but yeah and right now I'm gonna go ahead and share some of my haul with you Later on, we're gonna head outside because there are two plants on each corners. It looks like they're already budding, but the roots are rotting. One of them I did share with you guys a couple of videos ago when I quickly went outside for the first time since the winter. Since that day, I actually have not gone outside because it was so rainy and it's gonna continue raining again, but today is the only day that it's sunny. So before I go out, I'm gonna show what I got. I got these two planters from HomeSense. 
I honestly thought they were the same color, but they're not. But they're exactly the same pot. Um, they were actually for $24.99, considering this is clay. And I love it that it has a hole here so that the water can drain through. And I can use, I think this, this string is meant to like give it a loose whenever there's too much water. I think I'm gonna keep this here just so that when I feel like there's too much water, I can just do this and it kind of loosens up any soil that are stuck. I'm assuming that's what it's for, or at least that's my idea. So I have this one here. I love the details. They are so beautiful. It reminds me of like a Mexican, but this is also like the pots that we use at like back home. I love anything clay. Don't mind this because I just got this from the garage, but it's a very decent size. And if I bring it up close, you could see they're two completely different colors. This is like almost like it wasn't painted. I don't know. Maybe they're two different stone colors, clays. This has like more red tone, which no one is going to see it because it'll be filled. And but on the outside, they actually are the same now that I look at it. That's all that I care. Uh, so I got this too and then last fall these guys were on clearance at Home Depot so I got two of them as well and let me show you so this they also came in a set of two these actually are removable and these ones they already have their holes where the water can come out I love that it looks very modern and chic and I love this tone of colors so I got set of two and then I have this set and we're gonna head out I already got some of my soil ready this is the second one look at this little ladybug here it's a very beautiful day out and this is the last item that we also got from Home Depot and this is also the uh, same brand as the gazebo the Hampton Bay and basically this here is gonna go in this smaller gazebo because we have the other one over so we have the big one here and we have the small one so this will be hanging in the small one and we have the same one like this but in black for the big one I love this because it really kind of matches that wicker basket if y'all been with me and then you remember that credenza originally when I used to have a credenza out there and it was like a wood back in the day that's when I got this wicker lamp or it does have like a candle holder little bowl here that I can put a candle but unless I put like a full candle there's no way I'm putting a real candle I actually have a full candle Perhaps maybe I can put like this one in here. Doesn't even sit well. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this is like the same idea because it has that full candle and so is that. This is like battery operated. I love it so much. And that is for the gazebo. When you put a spell on me, it drove me flying crazy. Couldn't see back then what's now in front of me. The disco's long gone, baby. You got me good, yeah, you got me bad. And you're bad as they come, boy. Through all the blue times and the sad, you're still there.
tell will never fall apart I throw my mad heart insane Now all I do is fly and all I see is stars Riding that shotgun wasted You got me good, yeah you got me bad And you're bad as they come, boy Through all the blue times and the sad You're still there So I just did that one part and the other part I can't do it yet because I realized I need to remove all of these things and the clouds are starting to look pretty scary too. It looks like it's gonna be raining. So this is the other one um, that I need to remove completely. It's the same plant. I had planted all this whole thing last year. This is already starting to grow. And I can see this one too. It's, uh, this is actually hydrangea and this is also budding. What I need to do is in order for me to remove that, I have to remove this entire fabric and all the rocks completely. This way I can realign everything and then it's easier for me to just rip off rather than doing one because I do need to take this here and kind of put it right in the middle. And then I want to kind of adjust it. That's a lavender. I don't even know if lavenders are perennials. I don't know if it's going to come back alive. But I need to rip it off because I want to keep my lavenders only inside containers. And then this was a very pretty, pretty flower. But I realized it belongs in a pot because it just grows like so flat to the ground. And it's nice to grow it in like in a pot so that it kind of floats over. So that needs to come out. That needs to come out. This needs to be repositioned because it is a hydrangea so i'm gonna take this and put it here when the time comes and then take that and put it here and then probably leave this here this way i'll have like one there one here and one here and then i'm gonna keep that here i just dumped a soil from a pot in the fall i don't even know what was supposed to be in here but I'm gonna take a look. I think I have a very, very nice, pretty plant that I did like a late summer and it took off and it's perfect. I think it is actually a perennial. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm gonna do this on the different video where I'm gonna take this entire thing do it so today I was only able to share that one pot over there and then the roses here are actually getting quite large so I'm going to clean and I think I'm going to put this rose in the big bin here one of these bins here I've got quite a few different kinds I also have this which I'm going to be doing lots of like herbs and garden and then we've got like all the tomatoes i need to rip off all these tomatoes this is all tomato and i think i had way too much tomato last year this is peppers and then that's like the kale but i need to clean this whole area and then fertilize it and then kind of plant out new plants this year like new garden veggies and stuff and then over there i'm probably going to do some more jalapenos and um, they're like stackable containers that you can do garden. I got it from Home Depot a couple of years ago. And then this here is the lavender. I really like the lavender in here. Well, you guys let me know. I don't know if lavenders, um, lavenders do come back alive again. I don't know if it's a perennial. This here? I don't know what this was. I have no clue. I forgot what this was. I'll probably have to look back at my videos to see what that was. But I know this was a thyme. And I know 
Uh, I've got more thyme. I've got thyme. Oh, I even have rosemary. No, that's actually thyme here. Oh, something is digging there. Do you see that? Something has been digging here. I think it's a squirrel. And I do see something coming here. Oh my goodness. I don't know what this is. There's another one here. And there's beauty coming out here. Look at this. There is so many nice ones. Look at all this. This is so pretty. I don't know what it is. Doesn't even focus. Let's see if I can focus it. There you go. I don't know what that is. And then here I have the rose. I had like a little mini rose here and I wasn't sure if it was gonna do well because it was like a dead branch but then it ended up taking off at the end of summer so I'm also going to take this rose here and put it like in its own pot maybe like here I need to figure out what this is but I'm definitely gonna use this soil but yeah and that is the small gazebo I was talking about that we're gonna put that light because we have a big light that came with this one here um, you saw that last year it's the big black one and then this one here comes with two hooks um, I did share with you guys but we're gonna Sean was thinking of buying two of those lights but I was like no we don't need two so he, we do have a little hook that can go right in the middle it's like a stick on and that way because this two are on the two sides so we'll put one and then have that light here then again it also comes with these lights these are all like uh, battery operated but I think this is um, like a solar light if I'm not mistaken but yeah we've already been using the grills and uh, I gotta clean look at look at all this disgust look at this that looks like a freaking like animal or something what is this neighbor has a disgusting tree right there that grows all this garbage Look at this. All the tree, none is buddy, except for this here. And so, and it's already coming on, like, it's already like coming over the fence, so we need to trim some of that. But yeah, that's the ending of the backyard. I'm gonna leave this like this because it is about to rain. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at how dirty here is. Something has been like picking. But look, look at all this disgusting shit that needs to be cleaned this is all from his tree all this stuff so disgusting it's a bush but yeah What I'm also going to do before I go in is that I buy this from um, Amazon. What I like to do is that before any bugs or anything even starts, because last year before I was able to come out, there were a lot of like this little mini spider mites, I think they're called. They were just all over here. And then I didn't know what to do, but I ended up getting this and I sprayed all over here. Poof, they were gone. So this is going to be a preventative for me. Just to make sure that you know nothing is gonna start for spring summer just around the base of the house you know i don't want anything going oh yeah do you see how this is all coming apart so around the end of this summer I'm thinking around September because because like right now we have a lot of projects and there's just so many things that's lined up that's probably gonna take us all through the summer but this is one of our biggest projects that we need to do it the summer is take all this I was originally gonna get someone to do it and we pay them but I've been watching YouTube video and I'm like I'm not gonna pay someone it needs to be leveled and I can do that so I don't want to pay anybody but yeah when the summer comes I'm going to be it's not summer like around the fall time before we fully go into fall around September like I said this way it's not too hot we are going to remove all of this and kind of level everything and rebuild everything but until now I don't know we're just gonna have to live with it like this
but if we do find a time before September or if things start shifting and like starts even moving more because last year it was pretty sealed and it's the winter that I'm outside and there's like a road here so you can hear the cars but I think it shifted so much because of the winter so if it continues to shift even more then we'll have to do it during the summer but we'll find it like a day that's not too hot too hot but I wish I can do it honestly this will be a perfect weather to do this but I just can't there's just too much to be done so bye now continuing on with this I'm gonna spray all here I also like to spray around the window because I don't want like anything going into the basement window so what I also do is that look look look, look there's a spider right there right there My best friends are all out, you guys. They are all out. It's that time of the year. I'm going to be having a quite interesting fight with them. And also, like, when I am cleaning the entire backyard, I will also be cleaning all these windows here and I'll be cleaning the door and I also want to clean up there too. I noticed it's getting very filthy just like underneath here so I will be cleaning. Oh my god, what is that? Look at this. It's like a moth here. I know it's hard to see it. Let's see if I cannot zoom in. But like, yeah, there is a moss legitimately growing in between the two drainage. Um, Sean had recently just changed to this one here because we used to have like one that was like this eggshell color and it just broke over time. These are so cheap. They're like five bucks. Um, so we got this one and then we also got rid of one of those. Those are like, they look like this, just to drain the water. We had another one that went all the way there, but we got rid of it because it was all lopsided and all broken. So we got this one, another one for the front, and then the front is another, another work. But this is a moss. You see that dot right there? There's a big moss growing in there, so. We do need to clean the top of the gazebo anyways because there's a lot of this stuff that I was telling you from that tree that just fallen and it's all like stuck on the ledge here. So we will be cleaning the entire backyard. Look at this disaster here. But yeah. And yeah, that wraps it up. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye. I bet you think that I should calm down. And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't It's not that long Since I met you for the first time Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you.